Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My channel. Oh, my hair's a little crazy right now. It's really humid in San Antonio. Okay, so I have always, always, always wanted to show where I am from. And I thought, well, I'm going home to the valley. Really nervous about that because I haven't seen my parents in over, this is going to be exactly a year and it was because of the pandemic. So um, I tested negative on Friday the 18th or uh, actually on Saturday the 19th. Well, I got my results on the 19th. So I tested negative. So if I had tested negative, I was going to go see my parents. Um, so it's the 23rd. I have been out in San Antonio, but I have been wearing a mask and washing my hands. So I'm hoping that I'm not taking anything down. I mean, I'm still negative, so fingers crossed. But I wanted to document while I was down there because I say I'm from a small town and I don't think people really believe how small it is. I live in San Antonio right now and San Antonio is probably one, still one of the top 10 largest cities in um, the United States. I don't know exactly what number it falls in, but I know it's definitely top 10. But when I say that a lot of people are like, well, why don't you go home? Why don't you just go back home? I'm going to show you why I wouldn't want to go back home. It, it, it grants you it's great. I know a lot of people, my family's down there. It's very slow paced. Um, there's not a lot to do other than going to the island and fishing. I do love to fish. I'm, I love fishing. I love going to Corpus and fishing, but I'm not super passionate about it. So, um, that's why I haven't done that. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, but yeah, so I just put gas. I got my Starbucks. We are ready to go. It is four hours south of San Antonio. So if you don't know where that is, Look at the map of Texas, find Austin, go further down, you're gonna hit San Antonio. Then after that, go all the way down to the bottom, 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 like right before we get to Mexico. Um, my hometown is about 45 minutes away from the Mexican border. Yes, that's how close I am to Mexico. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get this trip going and I'll show you the highlights of Harlingen um, and you'll get to meet my parents well probably my mom not my dad he's probably not gonna be on the camera and my home and see all that amazing awesome stuff I got a car full of stuff that I'm taking home I got my mom some really cool donuts and then I also got um, presents I got one present for my mom and one present for my dad which I was almost out of San Antonio but I had to turn around and get it and I was like oh my gosh I was gonna vlog about this so yeah so let's go ahead and get this vlog started about me going home and meeting my parents and my hometown. I'll check in with you guys later. Hey, so I'm about two hours into my drive. I'm right outside of Corpus Christi, which is two hours outside of San Antonio. I just wanted to kind of like get out and stretch my legs. It's super, I'm just, I went running yesterday and they're hurting, but it's so pretty out here. Let me turn the camera around so you can see it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, it's so much better. Um, I set up the phone on a tripod and I'm just kind of stretching and enjoying the outside. I still have about two more hours on the road. Um, once I get to Corpus, I will enter what they call the King Ranch. And the King Ranch is nothing but flat land. There's no restrooms, there's no gas stations. It's like two hours of nothing but flat land. Um, I haven't gotten there yet because I'm probably about 45 minutes outside of Corpus. This drive is, as I get older, I notice this drive gets harder and harder every time. You think, oh, four hours isn't that bad. Yeah, it's hard sometimes. So I'm gonna get back on the road. I'll check in with you guys later. Here we go. Okay, so another check-in for you guys. I am officially in Kingsville, Texas. Um, you're probably like Kingsville. Yeah, Kingsville, Texas. Um, what it's known for is Texas A&M uh, University, Kingsville. Uh, traditionally, that's where I would have to say a lot of people from the valley, that's where they go to school. Um, my mom went to school there. Uh, it's probably, there's two, uni three, I'm sorry, three universities in the valley. There's this one, which is like outside of it. 
there is one in Edinburgh, and then there's another one in Brownsville. So there's three um, universities in when you start heading towards the valley. I wouldn't consider Kingsville the valley. I don't know if some people do. I don't even know if they have the same area code as most valley people do, which is Harlingen. Harlingen is, we call it the valley because it's a collection of small towns. Um, now these towns aren't as small as what I just passed. Um, driving down here, I did pass about three towns that have probably about 700, 800 people total population. So, I mean, those towns are tiny. Harlingen is bigger than that. Um, and so is Brownsville. Uh, so is Edinburgh. There's, but then there's also small towns in there too. So it's like a collection of small little cities. And I wouldn't even call them cities. Cities is the wrong word. It's more of a town because there's Donna, there's Laferia, there's Westlaco, and it's just a large collection. Each one of these is probably about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes away from each other. And my cousin lives in Far, which I'm going to go see him while I'm down. He's about a 30 minute drive. Uh, South Padre Island is about a 30 to 45 minute drive while I'm down here. But yeah, so I am now in Kingsville no more hills um as i sh checked in earlier it was like really hilly i am now in the land of flat land um yeah it's just flat it's flat we're about to enter the king ranch so i'm about an hour away from home uh the king ranch is 45 minutes of flat wilderness it feels like um you have to be really careful when you're driving in the King Ranch, especially if you're driving early in the morning, uh, mid afternoon, like when the sun's starting to go down or at night, because there are so many boar and deer, they cross a lot. And I have seen in the past, like boar actually have gotten hit and it really does damage your car. Cause these are big pigs. These are not small little pigs. These pigs are huge. So that's another thing. Um, but luckily the sun is like, out and bright which I just realized I packed a lot of sweaters because Siri told me that it was going to be cold or the cold front was coming in tonight so fingers crossed that Siri was right because I only have about two shirts that are like this weather appropriate it is currently 85 degrees when I left San Antonio it was like in the 60s and it was raining and cloudy and now as you can see the sun is out I had to pull out my sunglasses because it was, it was just, the glare was really bad. So yeah, I just pulled over to do a little check-in. I'm at their visitor center. It's like behind me, it's super small. Yeah, and when I mean by flatland, I'll get out and I'll take some pictures so you can see. But I'm almost there and I've been on the road for three hours now. One more hour to go and then I will have made it to Harlingen in the Rio Grande Valley. This, I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all, it's like going back in time. I'm going back in time 10 years ago. So if we're at 2020, it's like I'm going back to 2010. Um, yeah, 2010. Around the time that I had been two years out of college and decided that I didn't want to do grad school anymore. Yeah, that's another video. Okay, I'll check in with you guys when I get home. since I've been home the last picture that you just saw was immediately when I got here I took a picture of my um, house that I grew up in but when I got home I started talking to my mom my dad came home and then we went to go have dinner at a Mexican restaurant um, in town which was really yummy because enchiladas are different here than in San Antonio um, but yeah pre-k chronicles we came to Harlingen Texas to see how little my hometown is uh, the next video, I will definitely show you around Harlingen, maybe visit my old high school, maybe visit um, the monument that's here, and just kind of show you how small it is. Um, of course, there's other cities surrounding here that are smaller, but when I tell my children or uh, my parents that I grew up in a small town, I did really grow up in a really small town. 
Um, I'm very close to Mexico. I'm probably about 45 minutes from the Mexican border and I'm about 35 minutes from South Padre Island to kind of give y'all an idea of where I'm at because if I say South Padre, people will know what I'm talking about. But when I say Mexican border, I don't, I think they, they think of like El Paso or Laredo. <laughs> no, this is a different border. Um, but yeah, I'm back home. I'm in my old room that I grew up in. Of course, this is not what it looked like when I grew up in it. My, it's kind of like the spare bedroom. Um, a Giza picture is back there. My closet. Um, definitely in the next video, I want to explore more of Harlan Jen. Um, take you to my old high school, my old elementary. Take you at the football stadium where I spent a lot of time in high school at. Um show you downtown which is y'all are gonna freak out and even the mall like the mall here is not even a mall like I think there's maybe a Dillard's and a Victoria's Secret and the rest of the stores are like whatever oh JC Penny um that's mostly that's it here if you want to go shopping you have to go like to Bronzeville or McAllen which are also small towns but they're about 30 to 45 minutes away those are probably the furthest ones all right, so that wraps up this four-hour trip to Harlingen. Subscribe to my channel. The next video, we are going to discover the uniqueness of Harlingen, um, Texas. Yeah, that way you guys can see uh, where I grew up. And when I say I'm a small town girl, I really am a small town girl <laughs> slash beach girl because we'll maybe shoot a little bit of footage at the beach too. So, all right, well, on the next one, see y'all on the next one. Subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. I'm gonna post it really soon.